Wow, that was a very nice introduction. Thank you, Tom. Most of it's true. Uh, I, it's such a pleasure. You know, I travel around with my colleague, Joy Laverde. She's also a speaker, and, you know, we go to many places, and sometimes you're welcome. But let's talk about some of the decisions that you make during your life. Let's talk specifically about where you live. All right, and how that affect that may affect Helen and Agnes. Now, this was taken by a friend of mine from the shuttle, and uh, this is at night in North America. And uh, let's see, there you are, right there. Uh, you got to shut off a few lights at night, people. <laughs> I was in the military a long time, but I'm from Massachusetts, so I used to park the car all the time. <laughs> But I, you know, in the military, you lose some of that. Just a couple decades ago, we didn't know very much about aging. The reason being, as this slide shows, man's experience, for the most part, was one where we were born, we grew up to be our very best. A teenager will tell you that's about 13. <laughs> and then we'd be sort of going along our way, and again, earlier in our uh, history, you'd turn a corner and literally there would be a tiger there. I mean, real, a tiger. And bloop, that's the end of your life. Or you would be scratched by that tiger and an infection would get you shortly after that. Lung disease, arthritis, a number of things that, that hinder our performance. So again, we've given up acute causes for chronic causes. The joke is, uh, the gentleman goes to the physician and the physician says, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Give me the good news. Good news, you'll live to be 120 years old. And that's in our DNA, by the way, to do that. It's possible. It happens, not frequently, but there's usually someone on the globe who is about 120. He said, the bad news, what's that? He said, well, the bad news is you're going to live to be 120 years old. Because it's assumed that if you live longer, you're going to be further on down this line, that you will have impairment and you will suffer. We know that there are people who do not age this way. We know that there are people who age according to this dotted line and stay at very high levels of function for longer, longer period of time. Helen is one of these. Helen is here. Agnes is here. So again, what is it? Because it's a quality of life issue, for sure. But look at this. It's also since we can only live so long, the longer we stay up here, the more likely the event called in medicine the terminal event, our death would change also. I found it extremely inspiring. I'm very committed to the philosophy that Masterpiece Living stands for. But every time I hear Dr. Landry speak and, and talk about the, the 10 ways to, to age successfully, it just reinvigorates me and challenges me to ensure that uh, Pine Grove Estates Phase 2 really is able to carry that out and live that. And it, it's really a philosophy that goes far beyond bricks and mortar, and it's, it's a way of living. And uh, we're looking for people who, who want to, to be a part of that. We believe that people who embrace that philosophy will, will also find that same inspiration living in Pine Grove. <laughs>